All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. And now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, presenting the challenger, the warrior. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Kamal Kim. Right, this is from UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and on the next clean safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out for you. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Head kick attempt is blocked. Beautiful strike. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Nice one-two there. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the oh, single the power side. of the transition. Nice scramble. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Oh, that's a nice strike. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Right punch is good, but left also flush. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Just over three minutes to go now. Big powerful punch, man. Now he gets back in range. All about that left kick to the body. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Big body. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Wow, huge head kick. with conviction now. Good stick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, and he lands yet another uppercut. So those strikes have come in bunches tonight, really starting to find some consistency. He's finding consistency because he knows that that is a strike that he can find at any time. He's so confident in finding that uppercut that it's landing over and over again. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that one. Now he's got the Muay Thai plot. And they separate. Nice. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice kick. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Oh, straight right. Oh, really? Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Team? All right, single collar tie now. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these were really start to they do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Ooh, big shot lands. 
just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, big Superman punch there. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because he has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Nice job, at least staying upright on that. And there comes the separation now. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see no. too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, He's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Big kick land. Oh, single collar tie here. Just misses with that one. Duffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice straight punch. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Nice body. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch. Right down. Oh, that is as good as it gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that old hand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Goes back to that left kick once again. Ooh, blocks the shot. Big punch land. Ooh. Hard shots landing on both sides here. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at him put his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. And that one certainly found the target. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to oh. Oh. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, he's really picked up the pace. Oh. Whoa! Twenty seconds to go, round two. Big kick lands. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get. Oh. What a round! 
All right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, and that thing is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash at this point in time. You know he's going to need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You got to think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse. Championship fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. That one's not good. Nice strike. There's no give on that leg kick. the mobility. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Stuff the takedown, no problem. But one takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Straight punch lands. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Single collar tie now. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing four more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Just misses there with the left. Beautiful punch. Nice leg kick land. Flip with the right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stung. Man, Serve him up. Go get him. Now they're both throwing with power. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. In it. Real sneaky body kick. Now connects with the right. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Strike 
to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Warrior. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.